Welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today we're gonna check out how to play Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Finger style arrangement lesson for the song. I've done a chord lesson for this one quite a, quite a long while ago. And um, yeah, finally here it is the finger style version. It's pretty straightforward. You can make a lot of different embellishments and improvisations, little improvisations here and there. It makes the song more beautiful. So I'm gonna show you all of that and let's get right into it. So if you want to play in the same key, um, after you learn the arrangement, you can shift the capo to the first fret. That way you'll be in the same key. I just thought that it sounds a bit too low on the first fret, so I moved the capo up to the fourth fret. All right, so we're gonna learn in this position. You can also learn how to play more finger style arrangements. You can check out the playlist that I've created. I'll leave the link in the video. All right then, let's start with the verse over here. going to start by picking 4th string open, doing a hammer on from open to 2nd fret, then playing 3rd string open, and then playing 3rd string open again along with that 3rd fret on the top string. And after that, you're going to pick open on string 2, 3, 4 then back to top string once again fourth string and third string okay that's what we have for now so once again and now so here what you're doing is you're going to play open on 2nd string, then 2nd fret on 3rd string, open on 3rd string, then once again open on 2nd string along with that top string open. So, after that, so open on 2nd string, open on 3rd string, 2nd fret on 4th string, then top string, 4th string, 3rd string. So, okay, so from the start, and now, 
So that's going to be a hammer on from open the second fret on third string, then two times open on the second string. So right after that, third fret on fifth string, open on second string, pick together, then doing a pull off from two to open on third string. Two more times on open on the third string. So and now so doing a little finger roll over here, third fret on fifth string, open on fourth string, and on third string we need to play open. So then a hammer on third string to second fret okay then open on second string come to D over here open on fourth string third second fret on third string pick together and then you do that so D sus third fret on first string second string second fret on third string then second fret on first string going to repeat the progression one more time so G to E minus C to D once again okay so starting again on G into a finger roll top string third fret on third string and second string then second fret and open on the third string so come back to G third fret top string open on second string so then you can just you know pick second string third string fourth string sixth string again so okay now this little you know chord notes that I'm playing can always differ so you know while I'm performing I might do something like you know or, or the way I told you okay so that might always differ those little chord notes that we play after playing the main melody parts okay so I hope you understand you can also make your own changes if you like okay and then after that so again a finger roll, open on top string, third string, and hammer on from open to third fret on second string. And then you know you can do a pull off from two to open on third string with the top string. Two more times on third string. And then you finally come over here. So Again, a little finger roll. In the end, you want to end up on um, third string open and then second fret. Then open on second string, okay. And now you come to C. So fifth string, third fret, and first string will be a hammer on open to first. Uh, sorry, second string will be a hammer on open to first fret. Play once again that first fret, so then open on second string, open on third string, pull off from two to open on third string, and once again open on third string. So again a finger roll, third fret on fifth string open on fourth string open on third string second fret on third string open on second string come to D second fret on third string and open on fourth string okay and you can do this little 
gain a chord variation so what I'm doing is after playing the main melody part which is I've played this now when I insert some chord notes which is why I'm you know just using parts of the D chord patterns okay so just doing first string second string and third string three three and two okay frets three three and two so right after that Okay, we come to the, now the pre-chorus of the song. So staying on D, a finger roll, open on third string, open on sorry fourth string, second foot on third string, and a hammer on from open to third foot on second string. Then two more times. So then open on first string, and slide back from 42 on third string. So and now we come to the pre-chorus where we will also add some percussion so open on second string third fret on top string pick together right after that you're going to do a slap and strum where you do a slap with the help of your thumb on the top string okay now just hitting the top string so that it hits the fretboard make gives us the percussion sound of the snare drum okay For the strum part, you're going to have your middle finger and just going to strike whichever note you want to play. So in this case, second string open. So then once again, picking the top string and second string together. So and after that, okay, so open on second string, second fret and open on third string. top string and second string pick together and slap and strum and once again open on second string and sixth string so so doing a slap and strum strumming on second string open second fret on third string and then open so third fret on fifth string first fret on second string pick together and the slap and strum so strum will be on open on second string then play third string open so That's going to be open on fourth string, then third fret on top string and open on second string pick together. Then you're going to do a slap. So then first fret on second string, open on second string, then open on third fourth string and second fret on third string. Okay. So And just repeat the pattern once again uh, the chord progression from G to E minor to C to D once again um, so starting out by doing open on second string second fret on third string open on third string okay then open on second string and top string third fret pick together slap and strum pick again Just repeating the same thing that we did for the first time open on second string then two and open on third string go to E minor okay same thing that we did the last time and one change that I like to make over here is okay so you can do open on top string and open on second string together then slap and strum and on strum you can do that on fourth string third string sorry second to fourth fret hammer on so like that then once again fourth fret on third string and open on top string so once again let's take it uh, from the second time when we're doing the chord progression G E minor Come back 
back to C. So slap and strum, open on second string. And do an open on third string. So and then third fret on fifth string and first fret on second string. And slap and strum, strum will be on open on second string. third string and what you can do is play open on fourth string and for D you can have again open on fourth string along with that hammer on from open to second fret on third string like that and then right after that you come to the chorus of the song so let me just play the pre-chorus once again okay G Now we move to the chorus and it's going to go a bit like this. Alright, so you're going to do a finger roll open on fourth string second fret on third string and a hammer on from open to third fret on second string then you can do a hammer on and pull off on second string to the first fret like that okay then two and open on third string okay right after that open on top string and open on third string together and slap once again open on third string and second fret on the fourth string so the fourth string was second fret okay so and then and then after that okay so third fret on fifth string third fret on second string and first string so you can what you can do is fifth string and first string pick together and second fret okay so and then a slap and strum slap and strum will be on second and first strings first string will be open so you come to second string third fret so Open on second string, third fret on top string. And you can do a slap and strum. So okay, so again this thing that we did before, then first fret on second string, okay. Then again a hammer on and pull off. So second fret on third string and open on top string and open on third string pick together so these parts we've learned before right okay this is the same thing that we did before on E minor from D to E minor then come back to C Okay, so again same thing coming back to C. Okay, so for the chorus what we've learned so far is this. Starting out on D to E minor. Come to C. Come to G. Okay, that's what we've learned so far. So on C. Come to G. Top string on top string third fret and open on second string slap again so okay so that 
completes uh, one chord progression. Now you can repeat uh, that part once again. Okay. And now it is a change over here on D. So once again. So again, a finger roll. This is what we've learned this before. Finger roll. And three more times on third fret on second string. And third time you have to do a slap and strum. So and third fret again and open on first string. So and then so open on top string, open on second string together. Second fret on third string and open on third string. Do a slap and strum, and then so hammer on on third string from second to fourth fret. Come to third fret on second string. Then this will be the same that we've done uh, the previous times on C to G. Okay, so top string, uh, sorry, fifth string, first string played together, third fret, second fret, first string, open on first string, slap and strum, and third fret on second string, then come to G, slap and strum. So let's take it from the very start for the chorus. to D, E minor, C, G, then this part over here on D, E minor, and then we learn this little lick, then come back to C, to G, okay, so that for, that's what we've learned so far. So hammer on from open to second fret on third string. Open on second string, okay. Then open on fourth string and third fret on second string. Then first fret on second string. Slap and strum. Strum will be on open on third and second string. So back to first fret on second string, and then here is the ending. So open on top string and open on second string, then second fret on third string, and on C you've got third fret on fifth string, hammer on on second string, on first fret, come back to open. So and then so open to second fret, hammer on on third string. Top string, third fret, and hammer on from two to four on the third string. Back to two on third string, and then over here. So open on fifth string, fourth string, and third string is second fret. Then open on third string, fourth fret on fourth string, and now here's the ending. Okay, so third fret on top string, open on fourth string, open on second string. So second fret on top string, open on fourth string, second fret on third string. Then open on top string, fourth string and third string. Then open on top string, then fifth fret on the fifth string and fourth fret on fourth string. And then over here. So third fret on fifth string, second fret on fourth string, open on third string, open on first string, third fret on second string, open on first string again. So and strum on D major, 
And now if you want to end the arrangement, you can do this. Let's say if you want to end the arrangement right here. So third fret on second string, third fret on first string, slide from three to five on first string, and then you just strum down on G, G major. So that will be it for Perfect by Ed Sheeran. If you want to extend the arrangement, you know, you can play the verse, pre-chorus and chorus all over again. Let's see if you want to extend the arrangement. Also, if you want, you can make a few changes depending on uh, the melody. I hope you liked the lesson. That is it for today for Perfect. Make sure to check out how to play more fingerstyle arrangement lessons in my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care and goodbye.